Hello everyone and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as House Beesbury. To be more precise, we're playing as Lord Allen of Honeyhold, uh, whose paranoia and suspicion is growing every day, every minute, um, every second, basically. So, um, as a very rough person, he finally decided he's going to take some action. And uh, one of th well, the first action that will be, uh, he's going to execute his imprisoned character. However, he did not forget his honor. And uh, as you can see, he's an honorable character. He's a firm believer in the importance of duty and mercy. Um, so even though he's wroth, he decided he's not going to take any action just yet because he's rather going to ask for the opinion of his council members. Now, his wife, um, well, his council members and relatives. Now, his wife and his son are in hiding, so they cannot really speak in, his, in this matter. However, there is a plenty other council members that he could ask. Now, um, he, obviously, Lord Allen, proposed that the prisoner, uh, Master Frederick, should just be killed, executed, simply as that. And he was being supported um, by his septon, Frederick, who is just as paranoid as Allen. But adding to this, he's a very cruel person. And he was also uh, supported by um, the Maester, who too is a cruel person. And that they probably also wanted the prisoner to be tortured, but uh, Allen will not uh, do that. He would... If, if it comes to this, he would just kill the character. Now, his spy master, uh, the Lady Annette, um, she just said that perhaps we should either ransom the character because, you know, as a greedy person and looking at our finances, she decided that might be a good thing to do. Or, if we don't want to do that, we just want to wait um, and see if he talks, uh, either confesses his guilt, and if he keeps denying it, you know, we can always ransom him again. Um, but Ellen is not sure if she's just being patient here or she's just being lazy. So he kind of disregarded Annette's opinion in this matter. Now, um, we also have the Justicer, who should have a huge say in this matter, uh, Master Horus. Now, he's an honest character, but also very trusting. And he proposed, actually, to just release the Maester. There was no evidence, so why should we just keep him imprisoned? Obviously, this will not do. Uh, Master Horus does not, clearly does not know what he's talking about. So, yeah, Lord Allen was almost furious. He almost kicked him out of the council, but he restrained himself for now. Um, so, yeah, he also uh, asked, obviously, his treasurer, Melissa, what he should do. Now, she's a very just person, and she happens to be married to his castellan and brother, uh, Garz Beesborough, he who too is a just person. Um, so they both proposed, along with Lord uh, Allen's sister Esme, uh, who also is a just character, to perhaps just give the man a fair trial. And, uh, you know, this way we could find out if he's, if he's speaking the truth or, you know, if he truly wants to harm the Beesburys. Now, um, also Esme and uh, Gars do agree, uh, as they are rather greedy characters, there would be best interest for... Um, Honeyhold to ransom the person and put him on bail before we know anything else. Um, but Alan is not too happy about this. He doesn't really have the patience for a trial. Um, so, lastly, um, finally, um, jo Sir Gerald uh, said what he thinks about this matter, and he's a rather a arbitrary character, so he doesn't necessarily care about justice too much, uh, but he's just as rough as. Uh, Lord Allen is and he wants to get the matter over with and he decided you know if we're not gonna kill him Then at least put him in the dungeon cell and this was finally um, What everyone agreed on nobody was really happy with this decision But that is what uh, Sir Allen can live with because the dungeon is very secure. He's gonna put up two guards in front of it um, So he, I, I think uh, Allen will do that. So in the intrigue menu We will obviously throw him in your blat. So there you are have fun. Is he not already in the dungeon? Was he already in the dungeons? He is dungeons, but he's not yet in... So there you go. Deeper in the prisoner towers. So yeah. Uh, enjoy Master Frederick. So that was first matter. However, Sir Ellen is still unhappy because uh, he doesn't know um, who is trying to kill his wife, son, and even daughter. Um, so he appealed to the royal house, now House Valerion, um, for support in this matter. And King Jacaris, uh, just as paranoid as he is, he knows of his feelings, he knows of his struggle. 
Um, so he, he very much would like to help him out, but as a king, he's very busy. He cannot really do something. So he asked if perhaps um, his brothers, um, the knights Lucerys and um, also Joffrey, if they perhaps could bring him some safety or some feel of safety. And um, that is what he's now asking for. So we're going to go for uh, Lucerys. I'm going to ask him if he would like to join our court because these dragons they might bring with them, um, they will probably scare off any assassins. At least that's what Lord Alan hopes. Um, so we have Cyrax over here, who's a rather rough dragon. Yeah, so we need to be careful around him. Now, Lucerys is a very humble person, honest, but uh, very kind in his words. So he is probably a good character to have around. So, yeah, um, King Jacarys is unable. So, yeah, Lucerys will actually join Alan's court in Honeyhold, so that is very nice. And also the second brother of the king, uh, Sir Joffrey Valerion, who is not as a great character. He's more of the arbitrary and selfish kind, yet still gregarious and a temperate person. Um, and he is riding the dragon Tyraxes, who's not as powerful as um, his brother's dragons, but still, a dragon is a dragon, so he's gonna be asked to invite, or he's gonna be asked to join the court as well. And that should give Alan some, well, how should you call this, some, some safety? Not sure if it's gonna help, but we will see. Two dragons are probably enough to protect him. So yeah, let's go forward a little bit. Um, uh, also, I made some changes to um, the council, uh, as you can already see. Uh, Sir Jocelyn is no longer commander nor regent. Uh, Gars Beesbury, the castellan, is now the designated regent because Jocelyn's in hiding. There's nothing he can do at the moment. Until he's lord, he's probably going to stay in hiding because we don't want him to die. Now, uh, so Gars is now the designated regent, um, as well as the castellan, and Tom Mandalay is now the commander. Um, as well as Master Lucas of Farheev, who still is commander of Honeyhold. So yeah, that's all what has been happened, and uh, let's continue. Let's see if the dragon riders join the court of the Honeyholds. Of the Beesburys, not the Honeyholds. Excuse me. Let's go a little bit faster. So yeah, Dornishmen still have their war, their civil war going on, and they're being raided at the moment. Huh, by Hara Nafala. A group of hedge knight has come to visit Honeyhold. Master Horus has met them has met with them and asked for my reply. Welcome them reluctantly. Well, we're not gonna refuse them access. We're an honorable person, as I said. Yet we're suspicious. Um so we're gonna welcome them reluctantly, but not with a great feast. Certainly not. So yeah. And there we have Sir Lucerius Valerion, who has finally uh arrived at our court and now Lord Lionel has been released and is now at the court of House Bulva over here in Black Crown. Interesting. Okay. And what is with Joffrey? Lucerius is now at our court. He could be our commander and now Joffrey is at our court as well. Interesting. So we probably have two dragons in our court now. Is that correct? Uh, no, we do not. Okay, interesting. The Hedge Knights have participated in a minor tourney to tournament together with our Knights in Honeyhold. Sadly, one of those landless Vedagons has been severely injured. Now, pay for some medication, send them on their way. We don't want to have these strangers in our castle for, uh, you know, too long. It was too long already, so let's hope that they uh, just pass by. There's a huge Greyjoy fleet, probably off raiding somewhere. Perhaps Dawn. How's that war going? It's 10% for the rebels. Poor Prince Aaron. Baby Aaron. Now, it also seems like that uh, the Stormlands will now be inherited by a Martell. A Martell boy. And winter is finally coming to an end, which is very good. Do we have... We didn't even have a winter modifier in Honeyhold, so we're far enough in the south that we don't really care about this too much anyways. So that's good. We're also not being raided by anyone. We have a very nice castle here at the moment. Now, yeah, we have to contemplate what we can do. Frederick, move to a dungeon cell. Okay. So we can put him in house arrest. 
um, to secure dungeons there where he can can't escape easily yet with a fair life expectancy. Okay, but we are he's already deeper in the dungeons, um, or the deepest in the dungeons that we can put him without killing him directly. So I guess this is good. And there is some more raiders besieging Old Town with a hundred men, but they're not able to uh, fully siege the castle. Corain, a slow pirate. Interesting. And now my second grandson, Abela Beesbury, needs some education. Now, um, the second sons of House Beesbury are usually being educated um, with as a steward because they will serve as castellan to the ruler. So he will be good with numbers. Now, we don't want to spend highly on him. Uh, I don't think we have the money to do this, but uh, perhaps we'll give him a poor education. The basic equipment we'll have to do... Um, Although we could, we can't really afford much, but let's try to give him a good tutor. Yeah, we'll try to give him a good tutor. Um, basic equipment. No, we want to give him a good tutor. He will be Castellan once. We need to have a smart Castellan. Uh, we can't just have some, you know, terrible Castellan. And now the dragons have actually arrived in the castle. At least one of them has. Cyrax is now in our court. Interesting. Could we face the dragon? No, we cannot because he's already held by a character. Interesting. So we have dragons in Honeyhold. Very interesting. Yet we're out of funds. We can't even bribe the drag that the dragons. Oh well. And Sunspear has been sieged. Yet these guys are still holding out. Yeah. Dawn is winning by 81%. The Stoneway is attacking. Stoneway, Sweetport Sound, defending against the, the Ghost Hills. Interesting. Well, none, no concern of ours, that's for certain. Let's see what is going on in the realm. Obviously the Florence ruling from their seat in High Garden. Good for them. Who's going to inherit Sir Darrell of the Reach? Oh yeah, one thing I noticed is that my liege, Sir Lionel, has claimed two provinces over here. Um, Nox... Yeah, no cross and Brightwater Keep. That is right next to us. And he's probably planning to go to war, even though he is a craven. So I'm not too certain what he will do. But it's, it's a possibility, certainly. And now, my second grandson, Abala, needs some education. Um, okay. Well, we need someone with high stewardship. That's for certain. Tala. Tala Rollingford. Now, who is she? Uh, may I ask? Can I please... Go to her character. Who is Tala Rollingford, my courier? Would like to know who she is before I give her some tasks. We have Leonette Rollingford as well. Tala. Oh, she's married to Joffrey Valerion. Interesting. Okay. And Leonette was already one of our courtiers. And my bodyguard Arnold is now incapable. Unfortunately. Yeah, so he's no good anymore. Okay. Well, Tella. Yeah, a diligent, just lady. I guess she can uh, educate our Castellan. Our future Castellan. Okay, so educate the child. Or perhaps we should let Tom educate him. No. No, we don't want that. We want someone with high... Learning, we have the highest learning. No, we're gonna give it to Sella for now. For four years. Or perhaps. Hmm, this is a tough decision. I really don't know. I think I will give it to Sella for now. Or not? Or we'll give it to Garment Hightower. A content man, a just man, diligent. Uh, he has fairly high learning skill, and also his steward skill is not bad. So yeah, give it to Garment, and he likes us, so he should be happy. Good. Let's do that. And Damon of Bloodstone has declared his war for Prince Aegon's claim on the Iron Throne. Okay. Which Aegon is that? Prince Aegon, the Master Arms of Bloodstone, who is Dragon Rider, Rider of Stormcloud. Okay. So, let's see who is joining whose side. 
So the Reach and the Stormlands are supporting the King. Dorne is obviously independent, so that does not matter. And my coffers are empty, but the faith is rich. Maybe I should seize sub properties to repay my debts. Now, we don't have- a oh, we do have some debts. Compromise with them. Now, times are harsh. I can't force them, I'm honorable. Um, I don't think honorable people would force the faith to, to pay, but I think we can compromise with them, can we not? Yeah. Yep, we'll compromise. We'll find a compromise. To get some money from the faith. Good. That certainly helped us. And we're almost ready to build an observatory, which we desperately want. So who has joined as well? So basically everyone has the Veil, the Stormlands, the Reach, as well as Wayfarer's Rest have joined. The Vancers. Good for them. And now Tyraxes has arrived at my court. And my body is... Maybe sapless and infirm, but my mind is still as healthy as ever. Oh no, Lord Allen is now infirm. Which means our region will take over? No, we still we do not have a region just yet. Good. Now perhaps we want uh, Arnold to uh, revoke his title. We, know, we don't need an incapable bodyguard, do we? So let's pick a new bodyguard that we can... Perhaps someone much stronger. Leonet or Linnet. Hmm... Now, probably we're gonna pick Joffrey Valerion. Yes. He will be our courtier. He does not like us, though. Hmm. But he is of the royal house. He was sent for us uh, by the king himself to, well, give us some peace. But I think Lord Alan will no longer live. Um, I don't think he's gonna live to see the end of this war. Already in firm character. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the children of the forest, and some say his songs are prophetic. Now, long last but home again, he's finally found his... Yeah, I think he's just an old drunk. Throw him out. We don't want him here. Who knows who that might be? Perhaps he wants to kill us. At least that's possible. Ah. Poor Leo. He was a good man. They're all watching me, conspiring, even my closest friends, dark eyes, cold eyes, evil eyes. Oh no, Lord Allen is now, finally his paranoia has reached a certain point, he's now a lunatic. Ugh. This is the worst. What are we to do? Now nothing can hold us anymore, we will have to kill this guy. I don't think we can keep him in the dungeon anymore. We're just, we're just too afraid. Of what might happen. And the war has ended as quick as it has begun. And the king has won. And it seems like the Reach is in uproar. Peasant revolt. Okay. Over in the West Marches. Besieging. There's 3,000 peasants besieging Falkenkrag. But we have a Tyrell army. Well, not Tyrell, a Florent army. I do apologize. Of 10,000 men. 30, uh, 13,000 even. The more the better. Oh no, what's gonna happen now? Infirm and lunatic. And now we even lose our... Oh no, we are still a trained fighter. No, we're now a poor fighter, unfortunately. Yeah, we get weaker and weaker. I think our days have been counted. King Chakeri's death Iron Throne has provided me with proof that Flores Baratheon has been viciously slandering me. How should I use this information? Oh, so Lucerius Valerion's wife? Vicious rumors have been spread. I expose and denounce her publicly. Yes, I want to arrest her. She's done something wrong. Imprison her. No, but she has fled to the court of Loud Paramount Cassandra. Interesting. So she's now in Storm's End. Um while her husband is still with us. He doesn't like us. Hmm. Perhaps she should not be made our... Hmm. Who do we have as our bodyguard? Joffrey. Or it was it Lucerys? No, we have Joffrey as our bodyguard. But he doesn't like us either. Um, yeah, we'll revoke that title. 
We need to find someone else. I do not trust this man. Another bodyguard, a new one. Who do we like? Out of all of these people, we only like Joslon. Joslon Beesbury. Ugh. Well, I guess in this case, well, he's hiding. We're gonna make my daughter-in-law our, could, yeah, we, we have to make her my bodyguard because there's no one else we can trust. Oh, this is terrible. Now I don't, now I regret the decision to have brought dragons into my court. Who knows what they're gonna do. And no, I will not attend. Do not bother me. I have better things to do than watch you jousting. Like staying alive. But for now, we're gonna fulfill a long dream of building an observatory. You have, t you have begun the construction of the observatory. It will take some time to collect all the necessary materials and get everything in order. I can't wait. I need something that distracts me from the dangers of the world. Perhaps it's too late already. We are stock raving mad. And we're suffering from a sickly disposition. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Oh well. Basically now, Honeyhold is being ruled by our brother, Goss. Who hopefully uh, does a good job. He wants to have a daughter, but he already has a son. Who's one year old. Okay, that's interesting. We're still no longer in debt, so that's good. We managed to uh, overcome our crisis. And Dawn is still fighting, it seems. Even though they were at 81%, 75 only, so... Seems to be a rather close war now. They're about to lose another battle over in the Great Desert. Yep. Oh, actually, they might hold out. And the second war has been declared for Aegon's claim. How did he... How has he been able to keep his Bloodstone Island? Okay, who's supporting him now? We're not, apparently. Interesting. So... The Stormlands, the Riverlands, and the Vale. Prince Kermit. Wait, Kermit Tully? Yeah, the Lord Paramount of the Riverlands, the Kinslayer. He's supporting the king, but our Florence, our Florent Lord Paramount is probably too old. He's not interested anymore. And he lost his High Lordship of Brightwater. He gave it off to House Norcross. But that was a while ago, I remember. Well, we can do not much but stay in our castle. Your observatory is finally ready. It is with great anticipation that you prepare to make your first observations. We gain a learning. One point in learning. Well, hopefully that will distract us. Studying the stars. Um, charity work is going. Okay. Not really too important to me at all. Okay. We still strive to become a paragon of virtue. Guess we don't want to do that anymore now that we are infirm. So, yeah, let's not do that anymore. We will rather... Hmm. What do we want? We probably do not have any ambitions at the moment. Or perhaps adopt a lifestyle. I think that's... We want a hobby now. We're old... We're not as ambitious. Let's just adopt a lifestyle. A lifestyle of studying the stars. News from Driftmark, my lord. A new dragon has entered the world. Sir Alan has apparently successfully hatched one. An unknown dragon who has died. Langar Greyguarded. Interesting name. Well, good for him. Sir Alan. Yet he's not tamed the dragon. He's only hatched one. Charity working seems to be uh, going rather good. And the Dark Dolls are now rising up against the Liege Lords. How's Tali? A trepet. A trepet. Uh, excuse me. The Pressed Man. Uh. Great Wick Raiders. Sieging How's Bulva's castle over here. Again, none of our concerns. 
luckily. Who are our friends these days? The Bendalans, the Grey Shields, and Old Town, of course. My liege, I tried to make Sir Meryl of Oakmere realize what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you are, but you failed me. Ah. Uh. Well, therefore you're not gonna marry, that's for certain. You have spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It is truly fascinating. There are so many questions. Um, how do the stars move? Well, I think it's more interesting to know if there's something strange out there. Like killers or monsters that want to harm us. This is below me. I do not want to attend any more tournaments. I'm infirm. I'm sickly. Why do you ask? I should not ask an infirm old person. Although we're not that old. Yet we feel weak. We still keep a certain inner strength, inner wrath that uh, lets us live. And Arnold Atkinson, our old bodyguard, has now finally died, uh, comatose in bed. We are actually able to press the Lordship of Atkinson now, but well, we won't be doing that for certain. But we could. Good to know that we could. Now his son is at our court. He's getting a steward education. Ambitious man, brave, authoritative. Well, he might turn out uh, rather, rather good. How's Abela doing? Greedy, temperate, and wrath. His learning is not particularly good, but. Uh, Oh well, it's not bad either. He's only eight years, so we might be able to force him to train. Only have 22% chance. But by forcing my grandson to fight, I made him a better man. The training is evidently paying off. Okay. Well, that was good. So even though we're so old, we forced our son to train and it worked. He became a better fighter. Now, how is our firstborn grandson doing? Nicole. Still only a trade fighter, but he's a, he's a squire. So is Lyman. He wants to become a knight. He probably will. Brave man he is. Observing the stars at night, you have begun to sense some irregular movements. You have also noticed that some stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. You need to study this more. With 30% of gaining the trade diligent. Well, we're no longer that hardworking. Um, we're old. We're growing tired, but studying the stars is still a fun hobby to pursue. One more we claim, yeah. How is our, uh, who else do we have? We have Starion, yes. How is he? Oh, Starion is now already a skilled fighter. That's good for him. Under the guidance of Tom Flowers. 14 years old, so almost come of age. Good. Cattle has mysteriously disappeared from herds all throughout my land. Luckily, my bailiff found the rustlers. The cattle has been returned. No sanction needed. Thievery is punished by cutting off the hands. Another day I would have spared the lives. Not today. The coldest, darkest cell. Well, of course, we will kill them. We are lunatic. We are wrath. And also paranoid. So I think that makes a lot of sense to just kill them. Cutting off their hands will not do. They can still... Do other things with their legs, perhaps. So the Warren Dorn has still not come to a conclusion. The baby Lord Aaron, nine years old, still fighting. And he seems to be losing grip of this war now. But we are winning against Damon of Bloodstone. Okay. The second war we have won. Where am I? Who are those people? Oh, pretty colors. We are now so tired, and now we turn incapable, which means we probably need a regent. So Gars is now officially taking over. King Jacarius the Monstrous has inherited King's Landing from the commander. A huge, strong dragon rider of House Hammer. Who was he riding? We cannot see anymore. Died uh, in bed. Now, yeah, we are soon to die as well. We will not live forever. 
The only focus we can pick is perhaps no focus. We cannot focus on anything anymore. And we cannot set any ambitions either. Lord Allen, after consulting with my council, I have decided to enact law changing rules. Well, that's fine. Um, he changed succession law. That's something I do not care about too much. And more peasant revolts. Well, nothing that will concern us. We are old and we will die soon. But not in this episode, guys. I'm going to put an end here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.